In this video, we will walk you through the VP Vision software and show you what VP Vision can do for you. Furthermore, we will show you how easy it is to adapt VP Vision to match with the targets of your factory and how easy it is to expand it over time. VP Vision is a complete system, existing of hardware and software. The software part, which we will demonstrate today, can be viewed on any PC or cell phone in the same network. VP Vision is also cloud enabled. Via the cloud portal, you can access all the sites from remote. You can group multiple sites within the portal and access each site safely from the comfort of your office. So let's have a look at an existing VP Vision system. Here we start at the cloud portal. You can see different sites that are connected. So let's have a look at one of the sites. So I connect it and then I can click to go to the home page. We see here the home page with a few basic features. And on the left, you have the navigation pane showing several configured pages. The web interface of VP Vision is intuitive and easy to use. VP Vision is completely customizable, so you can create your own pages, your own widgets and reports. So there's no need to analyze all your data manually. Just create easy overviews that help you and your colleagues to keep an eye on your system every day. On this main page, we created a custom view for, let's say, daily use uh, when you do energy management. So we have the most important KPIs on this page, which is system efficiency, average consumption, and a consumption overview per department. And we also added a PNID, so you can see which compressor is running, what is the system pressure, and if there's any issue, for example here now the dew point is too high. When it happens, you can make those widgets change color, so you have an indication of an alarm on the main page. Another cool feature is the linked widgets. We can now just add links to specific widgets where you can click to see the uh, underlying data. So in this way, you can create a layered overview uh, where you have the general overview on the, on the main page and the more detailed data on sub pages. This keeps the uh, main page clean and shows you only the relevant data which you need for daily use. Let's navigate to some other pages through the navigation menu, so you can get an idea of what else is possible with VP Vision. Here's a page that is created for compressed air. The page name and icon you can choose, and you can basically make as many pages as you like, for example, for utilities, for departments, for machines, basically any way you find useful for your project. On the compressed air page, we see a different type of widget, which is the uh, consumption overview widget. You can use this to visualize for each sensor, totalizer, flow, pressure and temperature in one line. And since we use the flow scope, we have a four in one device, so we can generate all those numbers from, um, from a single measurement point. What you also can see is that we have the KPI widgets, which were also shown on the main page, uh, again on this page. And that's one of the powerful features of VP Vision. You can recycle all the widgets you make and uh, show them on any page you like. So you have to only to configure them once and you can show them consistently throughout the entire system. What I also would like to show is the sub page feature. So you can create sub pages using these tabs to show more data on relevant parameters. For example, here an alarm history overview and uh, a dew point overview and temperature overview. Now let's have a look at the page called electricity. On this page, we show a uh, three phase power meter in this case, and you can see the power or the current drawn by each phase. And it's shown here in a graph widget. We have multiple graph widgets you can choose from. This is a line graph, which shows you the live data, but you can also go to, for example, uh, the past week, past month, or a custom interval. These graphs you can uh, define yourself with multiple axes. So you can have, for example, power on the left side and pressure on the right side and combine different type of sensors in one graph. And there is an export function where you can download the, the picture as a uh, JPEG or an, an SVG image like I do here. Um, so basically if you want to use the, the graph in a report, it's quite easy to do so. The last page you can see here in uh, the VP Vision is an additional very powerful feature, the automated report function. In this way, the right information can come into your mailbox every week or every month. You can make multiple reports, for instance, for different jobs within your company. A maintenance manager might want to see a different report than, for example, an energy manager. In the report, you can compare the current state of your system with the previous period. And you can see, for example, how many times an alarm has been triggered and get a clear overview of the energy costs per utility. 
Now let's take a look into the back end of VP Vision. Before you can go into the back end, you have to sign in through the menu. It's a protected site. So this prevents, of course, that people are going to make changes without authorization. Um, if you are in the back end, you will get a, um, an, an additional menu bar here on the left. And um, here you have the various functions you can, uh, you can choose from. I want to highlight a few of those features. First of all, there's the input devices. And what's nice about VP Vision is that it's hardware agnostic. You can basically interface it with any device which offers an analog, a pulse, or a Modbus signal. In this way, VP Vision is basically brand neutral. You can connect sensors, and even you can connect uh, panels from compressors if they offer a Modbus output, or a Modbus over Ethernet output. If you want to add an input device, then uh, you click on Add Input, and you will get a uh, dialog screen here where you uh, can describe the input. So for example, it's uh, another packaging machine you, you just purchased. And it's another flow meter in that case, flow scope. And here you can set the connection parameters like uh, the IP address or the RS-45 communication settings and then basically add the sensor to the list. And then it will show up in this input devices list. You can have a clear overview here again of all those inputs that are already active. The next thing you normally do is defining a widget. Let's have a quick look on the widgets. In the widget uh, menu, you can see here all the widgets that have already been made. So I would like to add one. And if I do that, I can choose from various types of widgets. Uh, in this case, I want to add a KPI. So I click here on configure widget. And then I give it a name like costs per department or just make, let's make it just cost. Then I will select here. It's a cost KPI and it, I want it to have in Euro today. And here I will connect it to a power meter. Obviously, power meters can measure KWs and KWs can be converted to cost. So let's take the three phase power meter, power, and I save it. And in this way, I have created a new widget called costs, which I can then show on uh, one of those pages. Next level is the pages. So let's go to page editor. First of all, here you have the page overview where you can see how many pages there are and if they have sub windows, it's all clearly shown here in this list. Um, and I can do two things. I can add a new page here or I can modify an existing one. And I will show you now how to modify an existing page. So uh, let's go to the, um, the plant overview page, which was shown at the beginning of this video. Here you see the widgets that are already on the page. And now let's add one of those widgets here, let's see, uh, costs overview, there it is. So now the new widget is uh, appearing here at the bottom. And I might want to remove another one, so I'll simply remove it. And now the cost overview is added here on the right corner. One more feature I would like to show you as well is the alarms feature. Let's go to alarms. Here you see the existing alarms uh, that have been configured. Some are uh, uh, also configured to send out emails. Um, some are disabled. Now let's add another one. Add alarm. And I will create a pressure alarm. In that way I have to select, of course, a pressure sensor. And I want to have a um, Pressure alarm on assembly line one on pressure. And when it goes below five, there is an issue. So I set it on five bar and I click save. Then uh, the alarm is configured. So it's uh, very easy to do. As you can see, VP Vision is very easy and intuitive to use. You can visualize everything in your plant within just a few mouse clicks. In this way, you make energy savings easy and understandable for everyone in your plant. If you want to know more about VP Vision, then please contact us today and we will be happy to help you further with your energy savings plan. We look forward to contribute to your energy savings. Thank you for watching.